Anyone that's worked on pinball machines for a while has ran into the very, very frustrating random game reset. And this is due to a CPU supervisor which is monitoring the power supply to make sure that the voltage doesn't dip down below a certain threshold. This prevents fires and things from sticking on and getting damaged when the CPU goes into the weeds. So I built this little widget here to help diagnose and debug these different problems. There's a lot of little factors that can cause the power supply to dip down. It can be anything from a short to bad bridge rectifier, bad capacitors, um, loose connections, a bad fuse socket. For instance, this is the flow in this Williams machine. AC voltage is supplied over here, goes to some bridge rectifiers, there's some smoothing caps, there's some regulators, and then 5 volts is distributed through this entire board. And then it goes into an insulation displacement connector, which then feeds the CPU board, feeds the flipper board, feeds the display board and the sound board, and some other auxiliary boards, and even goes to the display. So there's a lot of places that little shorts, little loose connections can happen, and it doesn't always happen all the time. So what this device does is it counts each time, each time there's a transition below the supply voltage, and you can clip this on to different test points around the board to try to narrow down the problem. So let me start a game and see if we can get this game to have a fault. There we go, flipping the flippers causes the voltage to dip down be below my set threshold on this particular game. Here's the circuit diagram and the prototype. Start with a 9 volt battery and two voltage regulators. One's a fixed regulator for 5 volts, which feeds the display. This is the NeoLock FireLock display, which they generously donated. Thank you guys. And then an adjustable voltage regulator, the LM3117 Classic, which is hooked up to two trim pots, which you can select through a switch by grounding the bottom side of them. This adjusts a high and low threshold, so I'm using this to have an extreme case and a typical case. And this feeds a voltage comparator, and then the other side of the comparator goes to a set of test leads, which is for your device under test or the pinball machine. And each time there's a transition, it indexes the display by toggling one of the lines. There's many different operating modes in the display um, and different account modes, for instance, hex or decimal. You can go to their website and check that out. And finally, there's a reset circuit here. The display uses um, active high logic, which is a little bit different than most things. Um, but it does have a programming header, and if I felt so inclined, I could go change that. Anyway, go to their website and check it out. It's about 20 bucks. And if I toggle my bench power supply, which this is attached to, we can see that there's some transitions here. Um, it's kind of scratchy, so it counted pretty high because of the, the switch. So here we can reset it. And that's it.